Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a special treat for you. I am obviously at the counter, not in the kitchen, because I'm way too embarrassed to be in the kitchen right now. Because we have the Master Chef Surfer, also known as the master behind Sarsa, Mr. JP Anglo, will give us a master class on different kinds of foods. He just literally came up with on the spot, so it's kind of figure out what goes on in his messed up mind. What's up, JP? Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having me. No worries. What are you making today? I found some chicken, and I invaded your fridge, and I found shrimp laksa. Perfect. And uh, it tasted good. Um, so what I want to do with it is, I want to make sort of like a chicken with, you know, with gata. I found okra. What I'll do is I'll infuse this in the sauce, give it that Laswa consistency, sort of like a Pinoy ish, or like a modern Asian uh, chicken with uh, chicken uh, with a uh, gata. gata, and then I'll salt it with a uh, with a hebe or the little shrimps, and then yeah, and some mushrooms and kaffir lime to make it fragrant. Okay, so um, with everything, onions and garlic, cilantro or coriander. And the green part we use for garnish later. Some chilies. Notice how clean he works compared to the mess I usually make in the kitchen. The okra, I'll clean it. I'll sort of like just take off the, the end bits. Oh, I'm just gonna chop the mushrooms. JP's gonna teach us how to cut a kaffir lime leaf properly. Takes years of experience apparently in Sydney to, to get it right. Hold it with your fingernails. And then lean it on your fingers. And then sort of just like rock the knife. And the reason you're doing this is because kaffir lime is so intense, right? Yep. Well, not as thin, but it's okay. That works. Yep. I'm ready to do some stir frying. All right. Uh, I'll grab the mixture of onions, garlic, coriander. Maybe shrimp. It's always good to cook with what you drink. So that's actually a Baguio craft beer. It's an IPA. Nice. Wow. It's Double really good. Yeah. I'm gonna add the okra. I'm gonna add my carrots. Cause it's good. It's from Baguio. So it's, it's called Baguio Craft Beer. So shout out to those guys. Um, they make around 10 craft beers. You guys can probably check them out online. They do some really great stuff up there. So this laksa is made, it's mostly so for the people at home, this is Lanka coconut, right? Yep. So you use this at a for pink panda? Yes. It's pretty good. Lanka. So lanka. coconut, lanka, a little bit of chili, right? Some chilies. Yep. So you have that nice, sweet, savory kind of feeling to it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just deep fry the mushrooms. Yum. Fish sauce. So you're going to deep fry the chicken thighs? Now that you mentioned it, OK, I will. It's going to be sexy. You're gonna use the flavor packet, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> to flavor my um, flour. I am just going to top them. I found some garbanzos. Make this as a topping as well. So what's your process when you try to come up with dishes? Um, I see what I can work with. I let my mind go crazy. It just has to balance. Okay. So um, Nimrod uh, just finished coating the chicken with the flavored flour. Then I got some crispy garbanzos going here for some texture. So when you deep fry, always make sure that your meat is submerged in oil. Uh, make sure not to overcrowd your pot with meat because the temperature goes down and you won't get the uh, texture that you want, which is crispy. Now we're um, deep frying the chicken. The last process, almost there. The chicken looks okay, but let's do a check if it's cooked. Yes, it's cooked. So you want to 
when you plate, you kind of want to put the sauce in the middle so that you still have the, crisp, the crispy texture of the chicken. That looks good. So the coriander, some cherry tomatoes, crispy mushrooms, squeeze of lemon or lime. Okay, hi, I'm Chef JP. Um, I cook chicken with gata using uh, Erwan's uh, secret sauce from Pink Panda. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Try it. Please subscribe, guys. Uh, we'll catch you next week. Look out for it. Chef JP is going to make another really cool and on the spot dish. See you there.